Live from the canyons of Vermont, it's amateur radio station K1GMM, where zip ties and duct tape are a man's best friend and cheese is always extra. Hey, what's going on, you guys? How are you? Uh, K1GMM Steve here. Uh, we are going to go over how to share the COM port, the RIGS COM port, your HF transceivers COM port with multiple pieces of software. Very handy uh, for like doing what I do, doing what a lot of people do. I do run SDR console, which is synced to the rig via OmniRig. Now OmniRig is going to use the COM port. You need to set that up uh, to use your rig's COM port, right? So you can't share a COM port. So how do you get multiple pieces of software? Let's say you're running some kind of SDR software and you want to run a logging program synced to your rig simultaneously. Well, you can't share a same COM port. So I'll show you exactly how to do that. So what you see here is a virtual serial port emulator. This is by Eater Logic. This is the one I use. This is the only one I'm going to show you. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to, what you want to do is you want to go here. You want to download it, install it. Okay. So let's get out of there. And I'm going to pull up. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and launch VSPE. Okay. So let's get out of here. And I need to find my VSPE. There it is. I need to shut it off. So stand by. I need to kill it. So I'll show you how to configure it. Okay. Uh, first thing you want to do. Go to my computer. Properties. Make sure your rig is on. It's uh, it, most A lot of rigs don't need to be actually turned on but they do need power supply to them. So make sure your power supply is on. Uh, right click, like I said, on the computer icon. Go to device manager. Drag this over onto the other display. And scroll down to ports, COM and LPT. Left click on this. You want to find where your radio is what COM port your radio is sitting on. So mine's on COM4. Whatever yours is, make sure you write down that COM, that COM port number. We need that. Okay, so that's COM4. So now what we need to do is we need to launch VSPE. Okay, stand by. Okay, once you launch VSPE, I'm not going to get into all the different things VSPE does. I'm going to show you exactly how to get your software up and running, okay, uh, on the same COM port. So go to Device, Create, and what you want is Splitter. Select Splitter, click Next. Okay, you want to create a virtual serial port, okay? So your data source serial port is COM4. That's what everything needs to communicate with, all right? Um, so usually it'll select a virtual serial port that's not in use. So you can go ahead and go with that. You want to make sure you write this stuff down though. So I have virtual serial port. It's suggesting COM2. So I'm going to go with that. And the data source serial port is COM4. Remember that's where the radio is sitting on. Um, Sometimes you use these, sometimes you don't. We'll try it with them, and if it doesn't work, we know it to change. Click Finish. Okay, you'll see a pop-up, COM4, and it's got an equal sign to an arrow, and it doesn't work because my rig just went into transmit, so we need to stop that. Okay. We need to go in. Properties, right click on this setting here, right click on it, click properties and disable RTS and DTR. Okay, and then go ahead and start it. If it says ready, she's ready to go. Okay, now I'm using OmniRig, so I'll show you how to get this going. So you want to download and install OmniRig. 
Once it's installed, you want to go ahead and launch it. Uh, fill in all the information, rig type, port. Uh, this is designed, what you want is you want this to communicate on the virtual serial port, not on the port your radio is actually sitting on because we're going to point all the software to the virtual port. So select COM2, the appropriate baud rate, bang, you know that's up and running. Go ahead and launch your software. Okay, I'm going to launch SDR console. I'm not going to show you how to set up SDR console, but there it is. It's synced to the radio. So you can change frequencies either on the VFO on the radio or you can change frequencies on SDR console. And it will move the radio. Both of them are synced together. Okay, now that that's running, what you need to do now is I'll show you... Um, I'm going to use Log4OM as an example. That's my logging program. So we will go ahead and open that. And actually I'm going to switch. Let's bring this over here. Okay. So as you can see, let me move this out of the way a little bit. You can see that the VFOA is on 7.225 on Log4OM, and you can see the VFO on the receive pane in SDR console is 7.225. They are actually working off the same virtual COM port. So that's basically how to do it. Of course, you have to go in to your settings and uh, wherever it is in here uh, under options. I'm not going to do it. But whatever program you're using, make sure you set all your software to point to that virtual COM port and you're off and running. Now, this is not a paid advertisement for VSPE, of course, but it's a really great program. I think I paid $20, uh, $23, I don't know, 24 bucks for it, worth every penny, absolutely bomb-proof and, and idiot-proof. It will work. The only thing you may have to fuss with with some pieces of software is the baud, baud rate. Uh, the baud rate can get wonky. Like N3FJP, I've completely, I'd like to move away from that completely because it's wonky. Uh, log 4 OM is rock solid. Anyways, that's it. That is it. So that's basically how to set up a virtual COM port. So you can run as many pieces of software synced to your rig simultaneously. 73, thanks for watching. And uh, if you'd like to be notified of any videos going up, or live streams taking place, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon. We're good to go. 7-3, have a great day, and uh, catch you on the stream.